वेलकम टू मैथ सोसाइटी हेयर वी आर बैक विद एनदर वीडियो एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू प्रूव द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स एंड कॉस एक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल प्रूव बोथ साइन एक्स एंड कॉस एक्स एज टू कैलकुलेट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ फंक्शन व्हिच इज अ साइन ऑफ एक्स फॉर एक्स इज मेजर्ड इन रेडियंस इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स व्हिच इज अ साइन ऑफ एक्स देन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विल बी अ कॉस ऑफ एक्स वी हैव जस्ट टू प्रूव दिस फैक्टर that the derivative of the function which is sin x then it is cos of x so let's start this lecture so by definition of the derivative we will prove by the by the first principle method as by the definition of the derivative what it says that it is the first principle also that it is equals to limit h approaches to zero f x plus h where h is a very small change in x Minus the factor of f of x and divide this term with h. We have here we have function which is sine of x. So how to calculate a function which is sine of x? Firstly, write it simply that h approaches to zero. Now here the function f which is sine x. So we just plug the factor x plus h instead of x. We write this factor as simply x so we can write x plus h minus f of x which is a sign of x so we can write f and divide the factor with the term h as what we do in the next step so here are two angles which are in addition form and apply the sign so so in this step we use the sign angle sum identity which says that sign of first factor multiply cos of the second factor plus cos of the first factor and sin of the second factor so we can apply this identity as so we can write limit and we apply this formula we can write as sin of x and cos of h plus sin of h and cos of x minus sin of x we just simply write this factor again and divide the whole factor with a i just look at look at that factor that as this factor and this factor have a common sin of x so we combine these two factors and separately write this as. so we just write it as limit a to produces to zero we can write it as sin x cos of h and combine this factor minus sin x and divided by h quickly so and simply write this factor sin of h and cos of x divided by h so here as are two factors which is this factor and limit so as by the limit formula that we can apply the limit on both of the factors which is equals to if we apply the limit in this factor we can write as limit h approaches to zero and simply write this factor minus sin x over h and the sin is plus apply limit limit h approaches to zero sin of h and cos of x divided by h limit h approaches to zero we just take a common sin of x and we are left with this factor with cos of h and this factor will be a minus 1 over h and plus as limit h approaches to zero but cos of x is not a concern with this limit so we can write cos of x outside the limit and we can apply the limit which involves h into sin h over h factor we can write again sin of x and apply the limit which is h approaches to zero to cos of h minus 1 over h plus we can write simply as to apply the limit of this factor it will be a zero and by the sandwich theorem at limit h approaches to zero sin h over h will be a factor which is 1 so we can write as sin x multiply as the whole factor is zero so we can write it zero plus cos of x and this factor will be a 1 so multiply by 0 with any term will be always 0 so we finally calculate this factor which is 
plus cos of x and the final answer to have the derivative which is equal to cos of x. So we just proved that if the function f of x which is a sine of x then its derivative will be a cos of x by first principle method. So now to prove if we have a function which is a cos of x then to prove this factor that its derivative will be minus sine of x. Basically this, this factor is a given thing and uh, this factor which is required to prove. So now by the definition of the derivative, this is the definition of the derivative. So now we are just a function of x which is equal to cos of x. To find derivative, the function f which is cos of x and just we plug x plus h to x. So we can write as minus f of x which is a cos x and divide the whole factor with h. Here we also open this identity which is a cos angle sum identity. The two angles which is in sum and apply the cos and it says that cos of first multiply cos of second minus sine of first sine of second as this formula is stated in the starting of the video. The limit h approaches to 0. We open this as cos x cos of h minus sine of x sine of h and minus with this factor which is this factor and divide this with a limit h approaches to 0 we can write cos of h minus cos x divide this factor with h and minus this factor with h minus sine of x sine of h over h. So as we apply the limit on both of these factors. Now the next step is the common factor which is cos of x and taking common cos of x and we are left with cos h minus 1 over h and the sign is minus. As this sign factor not a concern with the limit which is only depend on the h. So sin h over h. We can write as this cos of x right the outside of the limit. So we are left with cos h minus 1 over h and minus sin of x and apply the sandwich theorem which says that this factor when the limit h approaches to 0 of this factor which is sin h over h it will be a 1. It will be a 1. And to apply the limit on this factor, it will be a 0. So just we discussed in the previous case when the function which is sine of x. So we are left with this factor is 0 minus sine of x. And the final answer is minus sine x. So we prove. So here is a detailed proof by the first principle method.